What's going on everybody? Doyle here from Premier RV out in Bluegrass, Iowa. Today we're going over the 2025 Salem Cruise Light by Forest River. This is the 24RL XL4 plan. This is the aluminum sided version. If you get the upgraded platinum package, you will get fiberglass siding and a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. As you can see, this is a rear living floor plan. So let's start there. Sofa in the back does turn into a bed to sleep. One, maybe two if we're talking small kids. Or just watching TV and hanging out. You'll notice these shades, they're, while they're not black, they are still the blackout shades which I think provides a much better look, really lightens up the room while still giving you privacy and giving you that darkness if you wanna sleep in. On the roof, you also got the blade lighting. Nice and easy on the eyes in my opinion, just looks really cool and it is on a dimmer switch. Under your jackknife sofa, you get these totes. Awesome for storage, everyone brings them anyway for the most part, so having them there is just a huge plus. Outlet and USBs on each side of that couch as well, and some storage up above. Next up is the U-shaped dinette. Tons of space, can seat multiple people, but if it's just you and your partner, like a traditional couples travel trailer, just gives you tons of space to sit and also does turn into a bed that can sleep two people. Again, you get the totes underneath and some more storage over there. Sorry for the finger getting in the way there. You'll also notice a theme in this one, which is the arch radius lighting. Super nice look to it. Into the kitchen. Probably wondering where all the storage is. You open this right here and you got your drawers. You got your deep single basin sink, pull down sprayer, nice large window on the campsite to watch your kids. We're just taking nature and you got some storage up there as well. And below the sink as well. Got the three burner cooktop and oven. You might be wondering where the microwave is. You just flip this up and it's right there. Opens nice and soft. Really nice for if you're not using your microwave. Usually it's a little bit of an eyesore. So having this here just keeps it out of sight, out of mind. And you get the little spice rack on the side there. Got the two door fridge there as well your Coleman Mach AC, central AC of course on this one. And you got a spot for a TV here already. Got the mountain bracket on it. Got your AC controls and your fireplace. And a little more storage up here. JBL speakers on the roof as well. Controlled by the Bluetooth right there. Into the bathroom in the middle, you have the shower on the right-hand side with this nice kind of shower door. It closes nice and soft. And this is kind of that heavy-duty plastic that really is gonna keep the water out. You get the skylight and the shower. And here, you have more of that arch radius lighting on the mirror. Very big mirror as well, storage on the sides there. There's your on-demand tankless water heater controls, like it says up there for long, hot showers without a tank. Just gonna heat the water, like it says, on demand. Your storage there and your toilet here. Tons of space for going to the bathroom. You can spread your legs, whatever. You're not cramped in the corner like a lot of campers. Storage right here and down here. 
And of course you get the sliding doors on both sides for even more privacy. Into the bedroom you see right now, it is up in the VersaTilt position and look how much space that gives you. It's a custom king bed, 66 by 78 inches like it says there and just gives you tons of space. We'll put it down in a second and show you how much room it really gives you, but it's your TV backer right there. And again, big windows, shirt closet on the side, some more storage down there. That goes straight to the pass-through storage, whole laundry hamper kind of thing. On that side, you got shelves with the Bluetooth and USB, as well as down there and up there. Again, storage up top. Got the pet step on the right side for your furry little friends. We'll storage down there and there with the USB there. You got this big shirt closet here. Now your Versa tilt controls right here. For warranty purposes, you should not be on the bed while it is working. But here's what it looks like down. Simple and easy to use, just the push of a button. Obviously you gotta hold it down, but this allows you to put it, you know, you can put it just like that. You can put it all the way down, all the way up. It doesn't have to be a one size fits all. It doesn't have to be all the way up or all the way down. So here it is when you're going to sleep. Huge bed and obviously not a ton of space, but that's what the VersaTilt is for. Now let's head out and check out the outside on this one. Again, like I said, this is the aluminum siding. This is heavy duty metal. This isn't your typical stick and tin stuff. It's heavy duty. You got the blade lighting up top. It's got the typical LED. And again, you see the blades right here. This is great. If you got a table at night, you just light it up right there and there for your pass through storage. Already got a bracket on it for an outdoor TV. JBL speakers up there as well. And you got the suburban tankless water heater there, like I talked about. Wheels. Got your low point drain here and your outlets there. And here's your pass through storage on the Salem's. You will get this dry erase surface on the camp side. Pass through storage, baggage door, just a little something extra if you want to write notes or if your kids want to mess around with it. There is your pass through storage, very spacious. And this one we did decide to equip. The electric stabilizer jacks. Obviously the standard is gonna come with the manual ones, but for this one we decided to go with these. Obviously you just gotta hit extend and retract. They work super simple. and make your life a lot simpler if you do choose to add that. Front side here, power tongue jack, get your LP cover and your battery disconnect. Other side of the pass-through storage here, that's where you see that little laundry hamper. Keep it out of your way. Black tank flush, city water connection, Got your sewage holding tank and your wastewater holding tanks here. And here is your slide. It's a power gear slide. So it is heavy duty. You can even be in the slide while it's moving. Obviously you do get that raised step, which not everyone's going to like, but there is a lot of upside to it as well. It's already prepped for slide toppers, as you can see there. And there is your 30 amp connection here your spare tire on the back side prepped for a lippert on the go ladder and prepped for a backup camera that big backside window you see there so that's going to wrap it up for this one this is a great option for a couple travel trailer at a great price point if you want to learn more check out premierrv.com or come check us out in person in bluegrass iowa Make sure you like this video and comment what you think of it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, happy camping.